So you're taking the AP Environmental Science exam in a little over a week and you wanna know the most effective way to spend those last few or first few days studying for the exam. Well, you're in the right place because I have a guaranteed strategy to make sure that you earn at least 20% of the points on that FRQ section of your exam. But don't worry, I also have science-based approaches. It's science. To help increase your multiple choice score coming in my next video. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can check that video out as soon as it's up. Now we're starting with the FRQ section of the exam because it's the easier of the two sections to improve and it's what I advertise in the thumbnail and what I plan to deliver. Now the single biggest thing that you can do to quickly improve your FRQ scores is practice answering the easiest parts of each FRQ first. I've scored over 5,000 FRQs for the college board and every year it blows my mind to see the drop off in answer depth and quality from question one to question three. Now the problem with this is that every FRQ has two to three relatively easy points to earn and two to three extremely difficult points that almost no one earns. So if you just start rocking and rolling on FRQ number one and answer all the questions in order, you're going to end up spending lots of time on points you probably won't even earn and much less time on points you probably could have earned if you'd started with them. Instead of toiling away on question one, slowing down a little on question two, and flat out running out of steam on question three, I want you to find those two or three easy points in each of the three FRQs and answer those first. Follow my plan and very soon you will say it's easy and good. Then move on to the describe or propose a solution or calculate points and save those challenging explain prompts for last since you have the lowest chances of earning those points anyway. Now, as someone who sits in a giant convention center for eight hours a day and scores these FRQs, please put them in order on your paper, even if you answer them out of order. You could just leave yourself a few lines of space for each part of the FRQ that you skip and plan to come back to later. And whatever you do, do not mix together answers for different FRQs. In other words, keep all of your responses for question one in your answer booklet page for question one, same goes for question two and for question three. The second biggest thing that you can do to improve your FRQ scores in a little over a week is make sure you know how to do all the math that you'll see on question three. If you watch this 20 minute math review video and practice the different problems that I go through in it, you'll dramatically increase the chances that you earn all six points on the math based section of FRQ number three. And six FRQ points is 20% of the FRQ section and 8% of the entire exam. And hey, 8% may not seem like that much, but considering it's only a 20 minute review video and that it only takes an hour or so to practice all those problems and make sure you have them down, that is a huge return for less than 90 minutes of your time. So now that you're armed with these two strategies to raise your FRQ score in a little over a week, it's time to put them to the test. After you watch the math review video and make sure that you can do all of those calculations, click the link in the video description below to try writing a full release set of FRQs from the 2022 exam. Remember to set a 70 minute timer so you're getting used to that exam pacing and then work through the easiest questions on each FRQ first, before circling back to the more challenging ones. And if you wanna practice your FRQ writing skills while also reviewing all of the content that you need to know for the exam, check out the APES Ultimate Review Packet. It has open-ended study guide questions for each unit formatted just like real exam FRQs, as well as review videos, answer keys, and two full-length practice exams. If you wanna check out the Unit 1 Ultimate Review Packet video completely free, click right here. Or if you think you're ready to practice that math that you'll need to do on FRQ number three, click right here. But wherever you click next, make sure you always remember to think like a mountain, and write like a scholar.